Cambridge English Dictionary defines talent as a natural ability to be good at something, especially without being taught. One of the hardest things to do is discovering one's talents because we're involved in a lot of things that we rarely take time to figure out which of those things we're incredibly good at doing. Also, we are just so concerned about getting the right source of livelihood that can help us settle our bills that we are not bothered about figuring out our talents. However, at some point in our lives, we realize that we want more from life than getting a job to pay our bills. We want something more satisfying and something that makes us feel like we're living a purposeful life. However, we can only get that by doing what we love and what we know how to do with so much ease. It means that we have to discover our talents for that to happen. So what talents do you have? Have you figured them? In this video, I'll share with you 10 ways to identify your talents and utilize them. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Find out what makes you feel good about yourself while doing it. Have you taken time to notice when you feel good about yourself and your self-worth? That's when you feel most energetic and you're excited about life, ready to take on any challenge. As soon as you figure out that time, create more opportunities to feel that way. Who knows, you just might figure out the exact thing you're doing that is responsible for that feeling. For instance, if you enjoy cleaning and rearranging a space, you could apply for an internship role in any interior design company. Perhaps you might just find out a thing or two about yourself, including your strengths. 2. Find out what you spend the most money on. Most times, we put our money where our heart lies. James W. Frick, an American author, said, Don't tell me where your priorities are. Show me where you spend your money, and I'll tell you what they are. You can try checking out your finances in the last six months to one year to figure out where you've spent your money the most. It can serve as a pointer to what you love doing most, which might just be your talent. In most cases, our abilities are things we love doing the most because we find it pretty easy, unlike others who may have to struggle or muddle their way through. For instance, if you've spent more money attending fitness classes, events, watching videos on the internet, etc. If, in the last year, it might be a sign for you. There are several careers in that field, and you only need to observe yourself more carefully to figure out which of them you'd love to do. 3. Ask your families what thrilled you as a child. Remember when you found yourself opening your electrical toys or examining some of the broken or damaged electrical appliances as a child? It could also be that you spent most of your time writing made-up stories, painting, drawing, reading books, playing one sport or the other. Well, you can use it as a guide to find out what your talents might be. If you cannot remember those times, you can ask your parents or other members of your family who knew you so well as a child to tell a few of the activities you enjoyed most. Take this recollections as a hint to get busy trying those activities again. 4. Find out what you lose track of time doing. Imagine deciding to do some of your favorite activities on a Sunday morning by 10 a.m. because you've got a little free time on your hands. It could be singing, playing a musical instrument, writing, making clothes, etc. However, you find out that before you could get yourself to take a break, it was late afternoon by 2 p.m. or so. Thinking back to all the other times you found yourself doing that same activity, you find out that you spend nothing less than 3 hours or so every time you do it. It might be a pointer to your talent. It's like that activity makes you so happy, your mind, body and intuition begin working in perfect symmetry. You lose track of time and you're not even thinking about food or any other thing that might serve as a distraction. You just may have found that hitting talent you've been in search of for a long time now. 5. Ask your friends and loved ones what your good and bad qualities are. Think about friends and loved ones who will be brutally honest with you when you ask them to tell you what qualities they admire and those they think you need to improve. If you have more than one person pointing out the same thing, it is an indicator of your talent. So, use your friend's perspective to work on what you'd like to do better. Also, don't forget to work on the not-so-good qualities. 6. Recall all the things you've been thanked for. People thank others for helping them in one way or the other. Now, bring that thought back to you. Why are people thanking you? What exactly did you do to them that brought the appreciation? Could it be because you're a good motivator, a good listener, a good teacher, a tremendous financial support system for them, etc.? Whatever it is that people thank you for the most could be an indication of your talent since you're good at it. Yes, they might look insignificant, but they shouldn't be ignored as they'll help you to figure out a thing or two about yourself. 7. Find out what you always yearn to do. What's that thing you look forward to doing every time you get the opportunity to do? It's like you can't wait for another break to try it out. 
It could be meeting people, making new friends, getting dressed, shooting videos, acting, etc. How about creating more opportunities to do more of those things because they could be your talent? Plus, it would be an excellent way to utilize that skill. 8. Figure out the kind of music, books, or movie collections that you love. The kind of content we consume says a lot about what we value. So, start with the books you read, the music you listen to, the movies you like, and even the kind of content you consume on social media platforms. Ask yourself, what's the one resonating idea? Try to dig deeper to know just how much time and money you'd love to spend to know more about that thing. For instance, are there classes you can attend or workshops you can take to expand your knowledge on that idea? Doing this will help you build that skill more and help you connect and link up with other people who may share the same interest. 9. Determine what has ever provoked a reaction in you. Have you ever noticed something that you felt wasn't right and immediately you were moved to take action to correct it? Did it happen a second time? Perhaps in some place different? Does the thought of that thing keep you up at night trying to figure out actions to take to help the situation? Well, that's obviously something you're passionate about and yearn to do. If you feel that way towards that thing, look closely enough. There's a hidden talent behind the actions that you take to resolve the problem. It might not seem like it, but it is. So, take up more challenging situations similar to the first one and watch how you handle them each time you deal with it. 10. Recall all your dreams growing up. Remember those dreams you had right from childhood before life happened and gave you something entirely different. Those dreams can be your pointer to some of your talents. You probably even started to have the goals when you were too young enough to understand what honing a skill meant. Now, what do you do? It's time to find out if you're still willing to go in that direction or not. If you are, then I guess you just found the hitting talent in you. When you know what your talents are, you'll feel more in tune with your life. You can also use that talent to excel in your career. When you capitalize on your abilities, it'll no longer feel like work. It just feels like living. And anything that makes work and life more enjoyable is bound to be a good thing. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.